everybody <laughs> shaking his head off hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing okay if you're new i'm lizzie i'm an i'm a south african and i react to movies i've never seen before if you're a returner or a stick arounder welcome back always glad to have you back and uh, yes i'm not gonna waste too much time today i'm going to do the movie gran turismo the reason um, is because I asked you guys whether you want me to watch it or not and I'm usually not someone who watches movies when they just come out. I usually give everyone else a chance to first, you know, get go through the hype and everything. But this is something because I played the game long ago, many, many, many years ago. I think this is, this is the one I have. Um, this is the last one I played. I never ever played after this. And these days I don't really play because it's quite boring playing alone. Uh, my husband and I used to race each other and do the, as much as we could to um, get the best playback um, shots. Uh, you know, when you race and you do the playback video after you raced. Um, so we enjoy just, you know, messing around on the game. I, I did get a lot of the licenses, but I haven't played in a very long time. And I know this movie is more about how um, this guy that created the game, how it all came to be. So I also know Orlando Bloom is in it, and that is about it. Uh, my husband and I did want to watch it the other day, and it started off, so I saw the little bit in the beginning when they were saying uh, this guy created this game and this movie is about how he got to creating the game. And it looked very documentary-like, uh, those first few uh, bits before the actual movie started. And my husband, he's not a big gamer, so it wasn't really already interesting him in any way so we stopped the movie and that's why i then asked you guys whether you wanted me to watch it so here i am and i'm gonna watch this one and uh i will just see you on the other side let's see how it goes i know some of you uh don't really care much for this movie but that's also okay i mean maybe it will be fun we'll see what happens just before i start if you like what i do if you like my content peace bleh. <laughs> please feel free to like subscribe and comment if you want on my video share it if you want if you want to support me in any other way you are welcome to head over to patreon where you can find full reactions and uh, other little bits and early access to the youtube edits and so much more and if you want to just support me without really committing yourself to any kind of subscription service, you're welcome to either head over to PayPal or to buy me a coffee. Uh, there you can decide how you want to contribute towards my channel and helping me uh, keep this channel going and growing, hopefully. <laughs> anyway. For my uh, Patreon viewers, remember you need your own full version, full copy of this movie or stream from your own service. It is on Netflix. It is on Showmax. Um, okay, Showmax is a South African streaming service. I'm not sure yet if it is on Amazon Prime, but it is available on Netflix. So you can watch it with me on Netflix. And uh, yeah, let's just get going and let's just get going and I'll see you on the other side. Enjoy. <laughs> All the gaming, PlayStation games, logos, little thingies. 25 years ago, Kazunori Yamauchi uh, wanted to make man. He created the world's most accurate racing simulator. It looks like he did a lot to do this. And he called it Gran Turismo, based on a true story. Yes. What's it saying? Oh, bro, it's beautiful. Dude, how many months of selling underwear did you have to do to afford the new wheel? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Gran Turismo, two, four, five. I've got four. Yay. For your information, it only took me a month of saving up at the knicker store to afford the new wheel. Not months. I never really played with a wheel. I just played with the normal controls and the joysticks. Um, yeah, I don't know. The wheel felt uncomfortable. <laughs> Tell him to bring his own coffin. Yeah. Oh, Jumon. Dad, we're headed to the field. You want to get outside and kick it around a bit? Get some air? 
That'll do you good. I haven't seen him in a long time. Sooner or later, you're going to have to leave this room, right? Hmm. You can learn from your younger brother if you practice football half as much as you play this damn like game. I football, Dad. I've been over this. Not all kids are the same. Some kids like other stuff. But yes, I can understand why parents don't like their kids being in their rooms the whole time with their games. Well, I'm just going to do a quick... Is there really already a Gran Turismo 25? I can believe it is because it's been quite a lot of many years, many years. Let's go. Okay, that's quite nice. The effect, like making him feel like he's in the game. Tokyo, Japan. And there's Orlando. How may I help? Nissan. Danny Moore with marketing. I have a meeting with motorsports. Yes, perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, there's like five people. This is Yamachi Kazanori, creator of Gran Turismo. It's inspired a love of driving in 80 million players. The realism. The physics, the fidelity of the cars, and recreated the world's most famous racetracks with meticulous attention to detail. Mm. My job was to call people who defaulted on their car payments. Debt controller, debt collector. Buyers today don't dream of the open road. They don't associate their cars with adventure. Gran Turismo players do. This is an untapped demographic of buyers that we should be reaching. And how do you suggest we do that? By creating a contest. A chance to compete in professional racing. Real racing. Nissan will reignite the dream to drive in 80 million others. Hmm. And I loved the Nissan um, Z. Uh, 10 Z350. You left these upstairs. Called it the something lady. The board has agreed to move forward with your program under one condition. You find a certified chief engineer Let to them ensure sign that it's safe. like there a wavering no form or something. <laughs> Insurance? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jack Salter. NFW. Team Car Racing Garage, English Speedway, UK. Look at that Lambo. Salter! Got a visitor. Make it quick. Hmm. Okay, this guy. The fastest sim races in the world get to compete in a camp. And the winner gets to race for Team Nissan. You really think that you're going to put some kid who's been playing a game in his bedroom into a 200 mile an hour rocket? It'll tear him to pieces. These players have clocked more track time than you have in your entire career. It's a strange concept, though, because who says all of them can drive? Don't you want to take racing back from these pricks? You think they can just buy it? Hm. Somewhere out there, there's a kid who's faster than all these arseholes. I've just never gotten a chance to show the world what they're capable of. I'm going to find them. Yeah, cool. Hmm. Quaint little neighborhood. Okay, so Jamon's character wants his oldest son to play soccer like his youngest son does. Don't get excited. Oh, look at that delicious food. Didn't you say always do something you love? Yes, no. yes. I, I, I did, but I meant within the realm of reality. Yeah, but that's not our world, son. But that's his world. You know what racing cars cost? That's what I love. I understand both viewpoints, London, England. Dad wants his son to succeed, and he doesn't see success in what his son is doing because he's just playing games. He's doing something he enjoys. He wants to do that. He wants to pursue it because he loves it. And I mean, there's many kids who... Um, go into gaming, online gaming, all these kind of things. Uh, it sounds like he actually physically wants to drive. Let's see. He's definitely going to get into it, so 
Somehow. Nick, you look good out there today. You have something to say? You're, um, you're not carrying enough speed into turn four. Oh, oh you're giving me advice right, right now? Well, he probably drove before because that's what he did. You get a little emotional. And when you get emotional... Gosh. Anyone who is good at something needs to be able to take advice. Driving advice, I'll talk to my team leader. Not some flamed out has-been who couldn't back it up 50 years ago. Gosh. That's nasty. You're arrogant. Yeah, hey, uh, tell me, son, I'll do it. Great. They just gotta prove to me that they can do it. Yeah, you don't need to work for someone who's arrogant like that, who can't take advice. Gamerland Cafe, Cardiff, Wales. Favorite sound in the world. Because, I mean, if you can't take some advice from a person that's experienced and you want to say that they just or has been, you know. Can I get your help here, please? Yes, of course, can. Oh, he works in a store. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh. You are joking. This guy looks like the guy that was in Free Guy. Okay, you're helping a customer, you can't be... Looking at your phone right now. John Moore. A bit for a place at GT Academy. Wow. There's a virtual race happening tomorrow. Win it. We want to prove to the whole world that the impossible dream can happen. That's your dream. Dude, this is real. It's as real as a 10 car pile up on the M4. Bad example. That's your dream. Why don't you follow the race line? Just experimenting. If it doesn't work, I just reset. No, no, it's on. Night, Dad. Hmm. I also usually skip the lines sometimes, although I do use them. But I also sometimes kind of just do a different thing. I think of how I actually drive. <laughs> but it helps guide you. Sorry, man. I, I, I've got to practice. I heard Audrey will be there. Oh, he's sneaking out. Toby, give me the keys. Nope. Now you're both sneaking out and you're not windy. Are oh, you supposed to do the race to get in? Isn't he supposed to do it like tonight? The night? Grew up, that's gone. Drop the clutch. I thought you could drive. <laughs> you know, if there was one place in the world that I could go, I think it would be New York. Why? I've heard they have good pizza. Hmm. What about you? This is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Gun to your head, what's one place you want to go before you die? Tokyo. Done. Okay. Tokyo. Tokyo. Why? Is that because of the guy who created your game? Yes, but technically it's not a game. It's oh. <laughs> I mean, technically it's a racing simulator. What is it about racing that you love so much? It's just you and the car. And that's it. What do you guys love about racing if you have to drive fast those of you do, do like driving fast what do you like about it i think we also talked about it in uh, ford versus ferrari i'll be watching for you good luck with the simulating hmm? you might see me in a black <laughs> mustache <laughs> yeah well, there's a reason that i'm driving i'm the sober one chill see these guys got beer for me hey you're gonna cause trouble for them guy <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. Belt on. Get your belt on. Always get stuck when you try to get it on in a rush. Oh, he's sober. He's driving. He's sober. I'm not missing my race tomorrow. Oh man. I'm sure it would have been. Wouldn't have been bad if, if you just. Because you weren't doing the one that you weren't the one that caused an accident or anything. Now you're racing away from the cops, man. And they're using the Gran Turismo view. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lost him. Avoidance. Is that part of Gran Turismo or Need for Speed? You're in trouble. Pollocks. Mm. You can tell my coach. He's not, not telling them nothing. He wants you on the team more than you want to be on the team. Oi. 
Ooh. Say, I'm the better driver and I'll take the blame. Say it. Say, I'm the better driver. Say it. You're the better driver. Oi. You're not here because you broke the mirror on the car or because you took it without asking me. Well, then why am I here? Because this is where you end up when you don't have a plan. Huh. Either you go back to school and find something achievable or you can join me here now. Because there's no future in racing. I'm done. Oh, gosh. I'm sure he's probably, you know, he wants the best for his child because he, he obviously did not do much and maybe he's disappointed in himself because he didn't um, achieve anything else. We are moments away from the start of the European qualifying race. Oh, you better hurry. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. Best of luck to all you gamers out there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Three, two, one. And we're off. Oh, oh. Can you catch up? I don't think so. Person. He needs to win this race. I'm taking the outside. There's no time to dance. Yep. <laughs> I like this effect though, making you feel immersed in the in the race, looking like they're all immersed in their go around. Yes, man. that's my boy. Okay, two seconds back in the next. Go in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Not the middle, the inside. You gotta go. Come on, you. Okay, second position just spun out. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it, there he is. Inside. Go. Slipstream. That's it. Wow. I actually remember now that I was talking about that, that that's something I also used to do in the game when you play against the game. <laughs> Um, I would catch their slipstreams and go past them as well sometimes. That's also fun. It's a gimmick. You've barely driven a real car. Dad, I've raced thousands of hours. But it's not the same, son. It isn't the same, but give him a chance. They're professional athletes, not like... Dad, do you remember this day? You took this of me when I was five. All I've wanted to do since then is be a racer. Now I've got a chance and now you don't want me to. Give him a chance. I am doing it. Whether you believe in me or not. Hmm. Welcome to the GT Academy. GT Academy, Silverstone, UK. The winner will earn a seat on Team Nissan. Hmm. And a place in racing history. Now please meet our chief engineer, the man who's going to teach you all how to do it, Jack Salter. It was a freaking legend. <laughs> when you're in a race, the G-forces will be twice what an astronaut experiences upon liftoff. And it's under these conditions that you're going to be forced to make split-second decisions that could cost you your life. Or worse... Another person's life. You could kill someone else. Hmm. These are incredible stakes. And if you're not willing to risk it, I want you to walk away. <laughs> There's absolutely no shame. Because if you stay, I'm going to push you harder than you have ever been pushed. And I'm going to prove that you don't have what it takes. What kind of pip, pip talk is that? <laughs> Making it difficult from the start. I think I got the point. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yes. Well, just remember, this whole thing is about press readiness, okay? When did you know that you wanted to be a racer? Uh, well, I like cars. <laughs> Each his own. He's obviously very confident. Good for him. What do you think about Jan? Jan is the same as any other driver on the track. It's just enough car to pass. Hmm. The entire thing is a marketing extravaganza. Get in the chopper, let us get a few shots. Doing what? Follow the kids around the track, make some notes, act like an engineer. Look. <laughs> There's no way I would evaluate race car drivers from a helicopter. It's the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my whole life. I'm not getting in that thing. You are. <laughs> you're gonna see what they do from the top. So you're gonna see how they 
turn and what they do. I love the GTR. I will be your judge. I will be your jury. All right, come on, you gamer kid. Get tired, you get sloppy, you get sloppy, you get hurt, then you lose. Great. I heard your trainer Jack can be a little hard on Pookie. Okay. I mean, he's, he means it well. He's tough, but it's like tough love. I need you to be faster than this. You're going to be hot in the car. You're going to be tired. Focus. Hmm. Ish. Thinks we just suck. Grabbed a bunch of cones back there. Extra points. <sighs> Sorry about the car. Good luck. Huh? God, keep going. Keep going. Oh gosh. If you crash the car, you go. You're ruining my enjoyment of these chips. <laughs> Whoa, hello. I didn't think it was gonna be so <laughs> physically demanding. <laughs> You puked on my lawn. Bye, Henry. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Boy, bye. Goodbye, Chloe. And what's your biggest fear? That this it was impossible. That this wasn't meant to be. You gotta find your moment to pack. Well, what you got? What you got? What you got? Come on, there's a the gap. Go, go, go. Come on, turn it, go. Go, 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 go! Not today! Man! Good night! Oh man, he's failing! Oh, I break, I break, I break! The brakes failed, it's not his fault! I don't know, I break, I break, I don't know what happened! You gotta commit! You okay? You okay? No, don't let him go. Give him a chance. The car's brakes didn't work. It's not his fault. In first place, baby. Mm, he's humble, too. Yeah. But you heard Jack. I mean, there's no shame in going home, right? Yeah, did you hear that? You're a douche. If you're not going to commit, if you're not going to have conviction on that track, you make mistakes like that, next time Check we might the car. Be so those brakes don't turn out to be glazed. You're going home anyways. He's probably afraid, like he said, that he's definitely not going to be able to do it. He was right. The brakes are glazed. Hmm. How'd you know that about the car? I've spent hours setting up cars on GT. Yeah, I know you think it's just a simulator, but it's good. Marcel's out. You're in the final five. Final race in the morning. Which one is Marcel? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you hear this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? It's Kenny G. Who's <laughs> Kenny? Dude, we have a huge race tomorrow. It's just chilling me out. So I'll turn it down. How many of you guys realized how many young people don't know the music from the 80s and 70s and the 90s? Um, I've also had some moments where I experienced that with younger kids. And it's quite interesting to realize that you're definitely from different decades or different periods of time. He's gonna do it. You're gonna do it. All right, this is it. I hope the sounds I'm hearing on my earphones are not coming through on the mic. So I hope this is definitely gonna work better than what he did with all the other recordings. All your weeks here at the GT Academy have led to this, and I've imparted to you everything I know about racing. Now it's time for you to show me what you've got. Say, um, Swallow. it's a family thing. It's a team my dad used to play for. You're gonna do this. It's just a game. With real cars. It's just a game, but with real cars. It's real cars. Real racing. You got this. You got this. Yes, you do. Go. Oh. 
I like that they're showing the movements of the belts and the pistons and the things inside. Wow, that's cool. Okay, come on. Good. Ah, ah, ah. Great. Wow, how many laps? Three laps to go. Oh, ten laps. Okay, you better make a plan, Jan. Get past him. Go, 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 yes, okay. Don't push him off the... Great, great, great. Come on. No, no. Get back and go. Get him, get him, get him, go, go, go. Gosh. Go, go, just one more, just a little more. Get through it. Go, 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 go. He's first. Maddie took it. No, no, he didn't take it. Jan did. Jan won. Did I win? Who had that? The blue car did. Jan did. Or purple. The, the, the purple one, Jan's car made it. Rewind a little. Yes, it is him. Announce it. Hold on. Hold on. Jack. Yeah. Why do you not want Jan to be the winner? Is this really what we want? Just look at this from a high-level marketing perspective, okay? There's... No, now you're turning in the guy from Ford versus Ferrari. He won by a thousandth of a sec. Doesn't matter. In winning and losing, Jan won. When is a win? He's not press ready, he's not confident. The whole idea of this thing, Jack, it hangs on one of these two kids' shoulders. Okay, now I'm not liking you anymore, Orlando. He is ultimately our best pick when you take him out mm -hmm. into the world. You cannot do this. You cannot agree with him. Yeah, copy that. The winner is... Don't agree with Orlando's character. You are the winner. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Wonderful! Okay, great. I'm so glad he didn't fold. I'm really hmm. proud of you. Yeah, <laughs> it's mental. Yeah, they're taking me on a Learjet to Vienna tomorrow. I'll be watching. <laughs> First time on a private jet. Yeah, have a glass. Oh, I see. Thanks. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Champagne is for the podium. <laughs> Take a couple beers. Thank you very much. That's fair. Jet was a great racer. I mean, possibly could have been one of the best Americans of his generation. Vienna, Austria. Okay, okay, okay. It's a big thing. Welcome to Spielberg in Austria at the Red Bull. This is going to be everything, hasn't it? Heavy braking zones, all Red Bull ring. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You'll be fine. Stay with me. Uh, good news. No one thinks we can do this, so low expectations. <laughs> hey. You're gonna do this. You got this. I like him. He's honest and he's not like beating about the bush about anything. And giving anyone false hope or any false kind of sense of achievement but still supporting supportive and uh, showing him that he does believe in him actually so it's a big thing and i like jan's taste in music as well <laughs> that calms him down <gasps> you're gonna do this you're gonna make it this is different Wow, look at that. Okay, there you go. Let's get those tires nice and warm. 
Just do that, yeah. All right, I don't know exactly how much bandwidth you have for this right now, but I feel like we should talk a little bit about some other players on the field today. Uh, first of all, my favorite is the guy in the... Lamborghini. ...monstrosity over there. <laughs> the monstrosity. I think the thing you have to remember is that this is a first, a world first, so we're already winning. That's true. I mean, we've never had something like this before. Are you there? What the... You're all right, you're all right, just breathe. Just breathe. Okay, come on, Jan. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Come on. You'll be fine. Cars yeah. explode all the time. This is normal. Stay focused. It's a disaster for the red Ferrari. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's not used to this kind of stuff, so he needs to focus on what... Jack, how am I doing for fuel? Well, to be in ninth place already, among how many were there? Oh, lap 20. Low fuel. Stop for fuel. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, pit crew. Work quickly. It's much easier with a joystick, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, now we lost a couple of spots. Got a good run on it. Pass him on the right. Oh God, yeah. Coming up behind you. No, let him take him inside. Come on, now you go outside. Almost. <sighs> That's good. That was actually pretty great. Ah. Okay, he's eighth now. Okay, great. Sixth place. Great. You must just get in the top four. Right ahead. Well done. Well done! Don't let that guy pass you now. Now you have to be clever. Where do you think you're going, amateur? Oi, 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 oi. This guy plays dirty. Watch out for that. I'm gonna nerf you, gamer. No, you're not. Your line is stupid. Don't do that. <gasps> Don't do that! You cannot do that! No. No, no, no! I hope they all saw that. Oh, man. It's an okay start. Still six more events this season, so we'll qualify, right? I wanted to say there's still some more to get the place, but still. Istanbul. Eighth place. Well, he's getting closer. Dubai. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nicholas, what's your take on sim racers? I'm worried, you know, they make it less safe for the real drivers. Do you think a sim racer can ever win? You won't see them on a podium. You are a dirty racer. Don't worry about him, all right? He's not a better driver than you. He's got a bigger allowance. And he plays dirty on the track. Like that. Again. Bumping him. Hey, come on, he's pushing you. Why? Oh, shit. Do it! Gosh, you can't be doing that, can you? Shit! Man. This is the last chance you have to qualify for your license. We have to finish at least fourth. Come on, Jan. Come on, come on. Ready the needle between Kappa and Go through, go through. Gosh, this guy. Man, is he allowed to do that the whole time? Easy, don't lose that line, don't lose that line. Jack, they're boxing me in. Get well, through. Let's do something about it. Hits the brakes, goes down to the... What the... Yes. Wow, yay! So happy. Stay forth. Don't let this guy do again what he did. What is he doing? What's he doing? <gasps> Man! Yeah, you were arrogant, you asshole. Sorry for that word. I'll beep it out. Gosh. Man, just get past it. Get past that thing. Oh, gosh. Okay, just keep driving. Get through it so that you can get through. Oh, 
Oh gosh, how many laps does he have left to get to stay in that place? You see through this thing? Yeah. Are you okay? Come this way, please. Let's get you checked. You're an idiot. Okay, I'm not allowed to say idiot to people. Captain, he's absolutely furious. It's your own fault, you miserable person. Great, go! Come on, get through. Now I have to catch up again. Come on. Yay! Great. You have to license, kid. Uh, what killed me and you? I'm serious. Hey, hey, hey. Came in. Came in. <laughs> Jack and Jan is very similar in a way because Jack also listens to music to calm him down or to, you know, keep him at ease with things. What was your favorite track? Le Mans, hands down. Really? Yes. Why? It's a perfect track. Nowhere tests you like that. You podium at Le Mans and you live forever. You become immortal. Did you? No. <laughs> but I did race it once. What happened? You're the <laughs> racer from today, right? Can I get a <laughs> selfie as well? For sure. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that girl is still into you? Yeah, mm. this is a surprise. I was wondering how many times I'd have to like them before you'd call me. 50, <laughs> 60 times. Yeah, and we have all the time in the world. Where do you want to go? Okay, is bringing her along or is he going to her? Tokyo, Japan. He wanted to go to Tokyo, so. Now he's there. I have to do it for 10 years. I have to do it for 10 years. I have to do it for Welcome to Team Nissan. Orlando Bloom is like, his character is like one moment likable and another moment not likable. So I'm still trying to figure out what's his real... Okay, guys, go. Quick, make a run for it. <laughs> He only dreamed of a whale, no? The Tokyo Drift Corner. What are you looking at? I buy a gift for a friend. <laughs> Champagne, maybe? Celebrate your big signing. Champagne's for the podium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quoting Jack. Well, he got the girl, he got the license, he's got the deal, so he's really on his way. It is the most feared circuit on planet Earth. It is, of course, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Nürburgring. I'm trying to think which truck I usually drive when I do the play the game, but I can't really remember which one is my favorite one. I like the, um, the rally trucks. Kenny, Kenny G again. And uh, there's one particular one on the normal tracks that I like, but I can't remember which one it is. What is this, my birthday? <laughs> it's this, oh, something I saw. Open it later. <laughs> it's been an impressive start to the season. And your dad is watching. Yay, I'm so happy. I'm so glad he's watching. He's interested. <laughs> Gosh. Fifth place. Okay, how many laps is this one? 15, 20 laps. Looking good, Jan. Smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. Nice. Jan Marker is working his way up through the field. Don't be in an accident now. Weather? What's happening? Second! But he's gonna have to now come in for fill, so he's gonna fall back again or what? Wow. 
something mustn't happen now something mustn't happen now oh my gosh oh my gosh what is going on <gasps> what happened was that his car oh <gasps> no oh man how did that happen Oh, parents shouldn't see that happening. Gosh. What happened? I don't understand. How did the thing flip? Oh, oh my God, my, my baby. <sighs> okay, well, he's just got very badly hurt. He's not gonna die. I still don't understand why the car flipped. Man. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to Nissan because that'll be an investigation. That's what you're thinking about right now? Hmm. Oh, Jack is really worried about him. Where is the girl, Audrey? Oh, she was only probably in Tokyo with him. It's not, it's not your fault, okay? It was a freak accident. Was someone hurt? Only you. Spectre. Oh, a spectator. Did that oh, man. It was an accident. It is certainly not on you. It is on me. You know why they call that section fluke plots? It means airfield. Cars lift off there, and with that headwind, it was like a sail. It was a freak accident, Yan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you can't be blank. Can you go? Yeah. Can you not? Can you go? I'm done. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Get out! Oh, shame. Should have never been on that track. Oh. You should have stayed where you belong. Under the hood. Gosh. Gosh, he's a horrible person. Jack probably also had a similar thing happen to him. Could you something for once? Thanks for everything. <sighs> the phone. I know an iPod. Why did I think it was a phone? <laughs> like an iPod type thing, not an iPod, but a... He probably had something similar happen to him. That's why he stopped racing. You would ask me what happened at Le Mans. I was in a wreck. I never got behind the wheel of a race car ever again. Mm -hmm. You want to walk away? Nobody blame you. Most people would. I got a feeling you're not most people. Mm -hmm. And you got to get back on that track and you got to do it right now because if you don't. Yep. No challenges. How you respond to your challenges. But how you respond to it? Yeah. Finish your life. It's like when you fall off the bike, climb back on. Hmm. I must say, when you are in an accident, it takes a while for you to get confidence again. I think those of you who've been in an accident, whether minor, whether major, it is for a while scary to drive again and you super extremely careful around certain things. But if you keep going, it keeps it gets better and then you just get back into it and you drive again and then you're confident again. I think this is a very similar um, situation. <laughs> Now you're gonna go and race again. Good news is, I've cleared you. Yes, great news. What's the bad news? Kappa and some of the other boys have taken to Twitter to demand we have our license revoked. Oh gosh, so ridiculous. We've got to prove to them, we've got to prove to everyone that we belong. How? By placing on the podium at Le Mans with a team of sim drivers. I couldn't do it. But I know that you can. It's a 24 hour thing. Let's be immortal. <laughs> <laughs> They're old friends. Yo, how's it going? Well, at least Maddie is nice towards him. 
Look good, stretch. Stretch. That right? It wasn't your fault. All right, we got your back. That's nice of him. I appreciate that. That's really nice of him. A lot lighter, a lot faster than the GTRs you've been driving. This is a different race. Ah, whatever. Gosh. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. Come on. I hope this guy just gets a wake up call or something because he's really just a big, big, big. Mm. Ready? That's your dad. <gasps> it's his dad. Oh, they let him come. <gasps> Baby. Thank you for coming. I am. Uh, <laughs> could I even support you properly? You wanted the best for him, you just... I was trying to protect you. And that damn PlayStation thing, I just don't understand that shit yet. <laughs> oh, shit. You did this. Hmm. I'm so goddamn proud of you. I did this for you. Oh. I'm proud of you. came to me, said he was going to start this GT Academy, and I thought, I thought all of you were completely nuts. <gasps> but you made me a believer. Huh. Let's go show the world. Yes. Let's show them. You're going to make it. Eight hours each. Do they still run to their cars? I don't think they do anymore. The iconic races, the Le Mans 24 stand just moments away. No, they don't run to the cars anymore. Yeah, I remember with Ford versus Ferrari, they said it, they didn't do that anymore. The newer races. Nobody wins this thing on the first lap, okay? You make your day, survive the night. You live to fight tomorrow. Nice. Make your day, survive the night. You live to li fight tomorrow. Already, and listen, you've got to be smart going into turn one. The tires are still cold. Oh, contact! Oh, my goodness. On your left, the is too slow. Oh, no. Oops. Man, get through that. Oh. It's on fire. Guy, get out. Okay, don't get too frightened. Just go on, just go on. Just go on. Why are they taking so long to send help there? What's he saying? He's not getting out. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Surely. Okay, is out. Okay. All right, they're pulling him out. He seems all right. He seems all right. After that impact, it's a miracle. The car is in one piece, and the driver could walk away. Get behind that safety car. Come on. Okay, keep your head in, all right? Focus. All right, safety. Okay, there you go. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, Jan. Hey, stay with me. Stay with me. Don't let fear overtake you now. Jan. Jan, talk to yourself. Come on, Jan. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jan. Is it a car problem or is it a head issue? That's a head issue. We need to bring him in. Uh -uh. Then do something. Just get his head back in this game. Come on, Jan. You need to get back into it. Dude. Dude, what the hell? Turn it off. <laughs> uh, well, that's the only thing that's going to make you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know how to. I told you. I don't know how to work these things. <laughs> <laughs> Come on.
Come on, calm down. It's gonna be mad, bro. <laughs> yes! Yes, I'm mad! Yeah! Well, get mad! It's about time! Come on! Get in the fight! Gosh. Go get him! Well done. Wow. You have the same power on the street, but if you get in the corner, you'll be able to pass him, all right? Go, copy. Let me concentrate, old man. Yeah, all right. Roger that, cop. <laughs> Checking on the inside. <laughs> yep. Yay! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and we only got 150 laps to go. <laughs> 150 laps. Our three only. Gosh. Team Nesma, 11th position. 10. Gosh. Oh, they're also getting weather. This is like reminding me of Ford versus Ferrari. They also had to race in the rain. <laughs> this is different. Not this, the movie. Just having to race in the rain is different than your normal lit up track and daylight track. Eighth position. Hour 12, halfway through. I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Rest up. <laughs> Sixth, fifth, fourth position. You ready to bring this home? Let's go. Yes. Oh gosh. Get another one. This song was in Ford vs. Ferrari as well. And look at that, it's Jack Salter who comes to the Oi. rescue. <laughs> Always carry a stick. Yeah. Oh my, wow. 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 Why don't you follow the race line? Sometimes I beat them. Not that. Wow. Gosh, that's a nice backflash thing. Wow. The whole point of this thing was to show the GT drivers can drive. Okay, I know this track. I know the lines. The line is not optimal. Let me drive it my way. Danny, I didn't come here to finish. Came here to win. You know what? Yeah. <sighs> Follow your line, Jan. Okay. Go the way you can do this. Come on. <laughs> Well done. And we're just shy of 24 hours completed. We find ourselves now on the final lap. Wow. Defend your position. Defend the podium. Look at that. Oh, the scapa guy is really racing dirty. I don't like him. Come on, you can do this. You can get past him. Don't let him do the same thing to you again. All right, last turn, then straight to the finish. Come on, do your thing. Come in. Come in. Come on. Come on, punch it. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, this. He's gonna finish. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. Yay! Yes! Well done. You did it! You did it! <laughs> wow. Is this guy now gonna be decent? You're not just a sim racer anymore. You are the best in the world. Now it's time for champagne. Hmm. Wow. Jan and team changed motorsports forever. Jan has competed in over 200 races to date. 
he still listens to Kenny G and Inya. Served as his own stun double, okay. Neil Blomkamp. Why does that sound so familiar, that name? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was quite good. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, something's making a whizzing sound here. I'm sorry, I'm only hearing it now. So I hope it doesn't come off on the mic. Um, but anyway, that was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. It really was interesting how they incorporated the whole Gran Turismo play with the reality and how they, you know, brought in those little things from the game. And I really didn't expect this to be the actual movie. I thought it was going to be a story of how, um, what's his name? Sorry, I, I can't remember his name already, but how the creator of the game came about creating this game. So I did not expect this story of actually how um, this guy Jan was chosen and drove for, for Nissan and eventually made this such a wonderful, uh, I don't know, it's brought such success to Nissan in the full Gran Turismo and everything. So um, I enjoyed the acting. The story was nice. There were all kinds of characters that you could really identify with. With Orlando Bloom, I was confused the whole time because every now and then I didn't like him and every now and then he came back as someone likable. So he was, he was an up and down character for me. I liked him, but I didn't like him, but I liked him. So it was constantly that. I really liked Jack. He was a wonderful character. Um, I liked that he was straightforward and just, you know, straight to the point but still supportive and still encouraging. And he really didn't want to make people have false uh, beliefs in themselves, but really see what reality is like and then push yourself to those limits that you can reach. So all in all, good movie reminded me also a lot, uh, a lot of a few things reminded me of Ford versus Ferrari. And other than that, I really did enjoy this movie. It was good, good filming, good music, good characters and the fact that it was based on a true story also makes it even better uh, they really did do quality work with this movie and i think i will definitely keep this in a collection or watch this again or something like that <laughs> anyway let me know what your th thoughts were on this movie did you enjoy it didn't you enjoy it did it make you feel like you want to play the game again um, if you haven't played it and uh yes what interesting facts can you share with me? Share it in the comments. And otherwise, I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourselves. Keep warm wherever you are, those who are still experiencing winter. And then I'll see you again soon. Bye.